guys welcome back this is going to be a june preview for you guys see what we have coming in for the month of june guys this could resonate if you have scorpio as your sun moon rising or venus do take messages only as they resonate with you and your situation leave the messages that do not and if you guys are new do like share comment subscribe all of my returning subscribers scorpios new subscribers cross watchers I'm sending you all love and light. All right. Let's get in, um, Scorpio. What you guys have coming in? June. For my Scorpio. Sun will rising in Venus. Okay. Scorpios, I am so tired <laughs> of getting this surrender card. It don't matter what deck I pull from. It seems like the surrender just keeps coming up, baby. Y'all are some tough cookies, okay? Y'all tough. This says, I can release my need to control, okay? So June, Scorpios, surrender. Something that you're going to need to surrender to, okay? So, oh, okay, I see. You guys have guilt, judgment, and then pride. Okay, so Scorpios, already I see a lot of um, releasing. Okay, this guilt says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Okay, so there could be some guilt that you guys have been holding on to that you guys need to release. Okay, this could be in regards to a decision that you guys made or, um, you know, just something here with this judgment. There's some something that... Um, you guys could have either decided or maybe you didn't decide. I feel like there's just some guilt in regards to a decision that you made or didn't make. And you're needing to release that, Scorpios. This says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So, yeah, there could have been something that you guys endured or like, um, you know, some challenges that you guys have faced in the, past, in the past. And you could be like in a space where you feel some guilt just because of a decision that you made but this is saying that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so maybe the challenge or whatever happened you know was something that was meant to happen for you on your particular path okay and you guys have pride here so this says i love myself and i see myself in everyone okay so there could be something maybe you guys are dealing with someone who's prideful or maybe there's some pride that you guys may need to release but yeah, um, Scorpios, Clear's Day, okay, and, and forgiveness behind that. So, yeah, it's something that you guys may have did or didn't do, and, and it's something that you guys could be carrying around some guilt for. So, this is saying that you guys need to release that. Five of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you guys have some sadness, some pain, some regret that you're holding on to, and it's like you need to release that, Scorpio, because it's weighing you down. I have even pulled all the cards and I can see that. So, yeah, release that. Okay, definitely feel like it's something that you guys are trying to make happen with this release my need to control a situation. And it's like you could have made a decision trying to, you know, get an outcome out of a situation and it maybe didn't go the way you wanted it to. Or it just could have resulted in, like I said, you guys feeling some guilt. But release that. So, three of wands here. I feel like you guys are definitely focused on your future. At this time, let's see. Maybe something you guys are wanting to make happen for your future. Ooh, so we have the Ace of, okay, Ace of Pentacles. I don't know why this deck is um, in reverse. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, so you guys have something um, new coming in, Scorpios. This could be a new job, new home, new promotion, um, a new opportunity, new income. This is something that's bringing in something stable, something solid. And I feel like whatever it is, it's like you guys have um, like a door opening up for you. Okay, so you guys have some opportunity that's coming in. Six of Pentacles here in the bottom of the deck. For most of you guys, this could definitely be in regards to work. What else? We have the Six of Cups and then the Eight of Swords. Okay, so with this Six of Cups and Eight of Swords, um, wow, and Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so for some of you guys, there's um, maybe a job opportunity returning from the past. 
and it's something that you guys um, may have really wanted to do or maybe, yeah, like I said, an opportunity. It doesn't have to be a job. This could be a, a relationship, a partnership because this Six of Cups could be um, soulmate energy. But I feel like there's something from the past that you guys just have not been able to shake or move past that is heavy on your mind, okay? I also feel like some of you guys have someone from your past coming back and maybe um, making an offer to you, or maybe you wanna make an offer to them. Okay, let's see, what else is here for my Scorpio? King of Cups, yep, and then we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck in reverse, yeah. Wanted to make sure it wasn't um, the, uh, the other cards one in reverse. So yes, Scorpio, this is your energy, okay? Um, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. So I feel like there's something that maybe there's someone that you guys want to um, make an offer to being that this King of Cups came up here and I feel like there's a situation. It could be a past person or a past thing, but it's something that you're stuck on. And I feel like with this King of Cups energy, although you're stuck on this situation, it's like you're trying your best not to let it be known like your emotions. I feel like some of you guys could be holding back your emotions. Maybe that's why you guys have this pride here. Or maybe there's someone that you guys are dealing with and they could be um, prideful. But with this King of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom of the deck, this is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. There's something that's not stable, that's not solid, okay? There's something, maybe this King of Pentacles in reverse could be someone that's not committal. Um, this could also be something that's just not like stable and solid. And it may be something that you guys... Um, maybe wanting to invest in but let's see scorpios why y'all have um that king of pentacles in reverse because i don't like that we like the kings to be in the upright in reverse this king of pentacles is somebody who like has a lot has a lot of resources but they don't use their resources in the best way this is someone who's not committed to his family someone that could spend their money doing all sorts of other things their resources in all kind of other ways other than the ways that's going to benefit themselves and their family. Justice is here on the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. But with this justice here, I'm feeling like um, you guys are needing to surrender to a situation. Because I feel like there's something that's not stable. Okay. And maybe you guys are trying to like press it through. And it's just like um, it's, it's not moving forward in a sorts here or... It's just going to require more work, okay? You guys have the Ten of Wands that came out with this um, Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like there's either an opportunity that you guys have or something could have started and um, something could be starting for you, but it's going to require a lot of work. And I feel like it's not something that you guys are wanting to, to put in. Okay, yeah, the Nine of Wands and then the Moon energy here with the five of swords on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you guys, this could be like a situation, like maybe you have someone from the past where you guys have had an ending of some sort, or there's been a lot of obstacles and you guys are wanting to still continue. But I feel like with this five of swords energy, maybe you guys aren't really expressing that to this person. Okay, or you guys could be just in a space where you're going back and forth, maybe having petty arguments and it's like, you want to continue and put the past behind you. But with this moon energy here, I feel like there's just like, Someone who either doesn't know how or someone who's like holding back their emotions. I went to the Six of Cups for my Scorpio. Why? The Emperor here. For some of you guys, this could be an Aries. For others of you, it's maybe it's a Taurus. But with this Emperor energy here, I feel like there's something that you guys want to do. Or something that you want to move forward with. Okay, some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. But with this uh, six of wands strength and then the ace of wands there's something that you guys want to like start or you want to bring some stability to and like i said it could be something from the past that just wasn't stable in the past watch the emperor here for some of you guys this could be um your counterpart yeah look the lovers came out first yeah some of you guys were dealing with someone from your past and it could have been a third party situation okay or there just could have been a choice where maybe someone needed to make a decision um choosing between two things or two people but the seven of swords was on the bottom of the deck so i feel like there's definitely maybe someone dealing with two people and there was some lies and confusion and deception in the past and you guys are wanting to maybe start something over and move past it yeah look three of pentacles came out in the reverse and then the full energy here so this is aries energy but i feel like you guys are 
wanting to reconnect with someone from your past, but it's like you don't want it to be a third party situation or you want to know that they freed themselves from a situation with this eight of swords. Let's see. Yeah, Six of Swords is here. And then look, Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck again. So it's like it's something that you guys, you're trying to move past the situation or you're trying to move something forward. But with this Eight of Swords, some of you guys, like you either don't see how to with this judgment here. Or it's like you need to release some guilt in a situation so that you can mentally move. So you can mentally move forward. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Swords came out. Y'all got a lot of swords energy. So some of y'all could be dealing with the Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Or maybe it's just like you guys are in your head a lot about this. But I'm just feeling like um, in June, you guys are definitely going to have um, something that I feel like you're going to be needing. You're going to need to surrender to a situation because there's something that's not stable. It's a lot of lies. It's a lot of deception or it's just going to require a lot of meticulous work for you. If this is in regards to like your working career for others of you, if this is in regards to love, then I feel like someone wants to start something new, but they don't want it to be a third party situation. Why well, is the King of Cups here? And I feel like someone is holding back their emotions and feelings, um, Scorpio, whether this is you or your person. Yeah, with this Five of Cups. I feel like there's someone that's conflicted um, in regards to what they want. With this Ten of Cups here, I feel like they know what they want. But at the end of the day, it's like it's either like a hard time getting it or it's just uh, too many people involved. Why is the Five of Wands here? We got the Hangman and the Tower. Yeah, so I think this Hangman was in the upright. Okay, so there is like a blockage to to something with this four swords here. You guys aren't um, could be not talking to this person. Maybe you guys are just in a space where it's like every time you try to get things moving moving forward or you try to make things go a certain kind of way, it just doesn't work with the tower here because the tower indicates something that's not built on a solid foundation. Okay, so it like it has to come down so it can be solid and stable and actually. Um, continue to grow so with this hangman and this tower some of you guys are dealing with the pisces but this is scorpio and aries energy as well so i just feel like there is something that's just not moving forward um scorpios so let's see what your spirit messages are we have the clutter that came out and then windfall of abundance yeah, so this declutter says you'll feel better and more focused if you take time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items and be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. Okay, so with this declutter here, I feel like this is more of a mental thing because like I said, you guys are there something that like you are trying to move forward, but it's like you can't move out of a situation mentally. Okay, and it's more so just in your mind. For some of you guys, it's like you guys aren't communicating or you want to communicate something, but it's just, I don't know, Scorpios. Maybe, um, like I said, somebody's pride could be getting in the way. But this one, Fall of Abundance, says an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Okay, so again, what I'm seeing is that it's something that you guys are trying to to move forward or it's something you're trying to like um, have go a certain way, but it's like the way that you're going about it with this judgment or maybe this is someone else, the way they're going about it is like with this King of Pentacles, Pentacles in reverse, it's not going to be solid. Okay, so you guys are needing to surrender because you do have abundance that's coming in. And I feel like it's going to help you get what you want. But there is a need to release, okay? Release the guilt and release your need to try to control a situation. Okay, so this is what I have, Scorpios. If you did enjoy the messages, do like, share, comment, subscribe.